Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Mac Miller and Ariana Grande's relationship fell unusually under the tabloid radar for the majority of their two-year run. It was their breakup in May that finally captured public attention, especially since it was followed eight days later by Miller crashing his car while intoxicated and, just weeks after that, Grande getting engaged to SNL star Pete Davidson. It's the most heartbreaking thing happening in Hollywood, wrote Twitter user Elijah Flint back in May. Flint, like many presumed fans of Miller, as well as casual tabloid followers, didn't find the heartbreak in Miller's continuous battle with substance abuse a battle he explored in his music and spoke openly about for years but rather in the fact that a woman like Grande could, according to Flint, callously transform from being one man's muse to finding love with someone else. Flint's tweet wasn't the only comment like that at the time, but it was the only one Grande responded to. In a lengthy notes app screed, the singer, 25, laid out how terrifying it is to be a partner to someone battling addiction. She never described Miller in any way other than as someone she loved and cared for deeply who had a disease she couldn't control. How absurd that you minimize female self-respect and self-worth by saying someone should stay in a toxic relationship because he wrote an album about them, she wrote, noting that only one song on Miller's Divine Feminine was explicitly about her. I am not a babysitter or a mother and no woman should feel that they need to be. When Miller tragically died of a suspected overdose on Friday, Grand's name was immediately trending on Twitter. Not only did many dilute his legacy to be that of a once boyfriend to a popular singer, but others decided to once again place the blame on Grande. Her Instagram comments and Twitter mentions immediately became filled with gendered slurs, libelous claims that she murdered him and expletive-laden exclamations of grief-fueled hurt and finger-pointing. Even the wording of TMZ's article where news of Miller's death first broke implied that their breakup was a key reason for Miller's further spiral into addiction this year. She disabled the comments on her Instagram soon after and has since only returned to the app to post a sweet photo of Miller with what appear to be her own sneakers peeking out from the bottom of the frame, indicating it was an image she had taken herself from their time together.